of what uh, attracted you about Oklahoma and Coach Eli. Um, uh, what attracted me about uh, Oklahoma, uh, Coach Eli specifically, is um, you know how um, you know smart they are defensively. You know, you know their defensive minds. You know where they can take me and my defensive intelligence. And um, that's that's one big thing that attracted me. And not only that, just um, you know the brotherhood they have here. You know, everyone welcomes you with open arms. And um, I just I knew it was a great fit for me. What's it like stepping into this room? Obviously, it's got some guys who've been here a while, like Woody and, and Gentry. What's kind of that dynamic been like so far for you? Uh, it's been great. I think, you know, everybody, uh, you know, can make each other better. And then one thing about competition, it's only going to elevate, you know, all of our play as a whole. So I think it's good for the room. I think it's something we need, you know, going into the future. What, what are your expectations, I guess, for the role that you, you'll have in the kind of season? Are you coming in expecting to play a lot of snaps right away? What's, where are you kind of at on that? Are you going to earn that? What's your kind of mind? Yeah, well, of course I got to go out there and you know and earn every every down I get. But you know, personally, you know, I want to I want to be a contributor for this team. You know, I want to come here and do whatever you know it is they recruited me to come here and do. You know, and that's my main goal is to come and uh, you know just fulfill that role. What's kind of your I guess, thoughts about Oklahoma from afar? Is that a program you always you're oh, yeah. aware of? You kept your eye on? Oh yeah, definitely. Growing up, Oklahoma, especially like you know, and I was when I was real young. Caleb Kelly is from my city, so oh, nice. seeing him come in and, uh, you know, watching him do it, it was great. And, you know, that was a time they was competing for, you know, and playing a lot of great football with a lot of great players. So if you don't know about Oklahoma football, you don't watch football, right. <laughs> for sure. What about the SEC part of it? I mean, I'm sure, I mean, Oklahoma is probably a selling point of itself, but the fact that you get, get the chance to play and obviously the SEC. The biggest comp, yeah. Really I think that's, um, that's like a cherry on top, you know. Um, I feel like you know it's the time for it, and um, that's great. It's big. And, um, it's it's really big for this program, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be great. I ain't gonna lie. It's great things in the future for Oklahoma for sure. What have these kind of last couple months been like? Just doing the Schmitty thing, and how have you kind of gotten acclimated? I guess here so far since coming. Uh, you know, I just came in, and my mindset was to go straight to work. You know, that's one thing this program do. You know, they they work. Everybody put in, you know, nice hard work. So my mindset just been coming in and just, you know, giving my full, giving my effort. You know, if I give my effort, you know, that's gonna help me develop. And um, it's been great. Smitty's been great. You know, Smitty's, a, you know, the goat. So he gets you right. And um, you know, it's been great. I love it. I can't even lie to you. I love it. Sure. What's it been like? We talked about obviously the corners with Woody and, and Gentry. What mm -hmm. about kind of meeting some of those other defensive vets, Danny and mm -hmm. Billy and Ethan? These guys mm -hmm. have been around a while. Yeah. How have you kind of fit in with them? Uh, great. You know, they uh, also other guys that you know had open arms when I came in. Um, you know, we also we we like to. Um, I don't know. Like we're more than just teammates. We like friends. So. You know, it's it's a it's a good thing being around vets too. You know, they get to really show me the standard. You know, it's a certain standard that Oklahoma football has, and um, it's really easier when I come in and there's a vet I can kind of watch and see how he do it, and, and I can get acclimated to it a lot easier. How much experience did you have with Doug Deacon when you guys were at San Diego State? How many experience with what? With uh, Coach Deacon. Oh, for all four years. Uh, since I came in as a freshman, you know, when you're young, the special team coach, y'all have a special bond. You know, you're trying to get on the field either way, any way possible. And uh, Coach Deacon was a was a great coach at San Diego State, and uh, he's been he's seen my whole journey. Like he's seen me as a baby to a young man. So Coach Deacon's for sure. That's my guy right there. I guess what's his approach to special teams and what's things that like playing for him? Um, like, so basically it's three phases to the game and uh, special teams was a very, very important part of it. That's one thing we made sure we took seriously and it was special teams. So, you know, Coach Deke has been a very, you know, important piece to that puzzle at San Diego State for sure. Were you excited to find out that he was coming here too? Static. I caught, when I found out, I called him fast, ran to his office, gave him a hug. Like, that was, that was big. That was great. Safe to say you think Oklahoma made a good hire? Oh yeah, hire. for sure, for sure. Obviously, you know, two-time Mountain West honor will mention. From your perspective, what do you think you bring to Oklahoma's defense? Uh, I think I bring a, a big, versatile, um, you know, aggressive corner. I can play the ball, you know. I can cover, you know. Um, I bring, I can bring, I just feel like I bring some juice to this team, you know. And any team can use a little more juice, and uh, especially with the weapons we already have, I feel like it can be a, a big thing.